In this video, I want to demonstrate how to set the standard for my drawing. To get to the standard, I need to go into the System Options, and I can do that from the drop-down menu from Tools, Options, or from the Annotation ribbon, I can select the Options, the little gear icon, and the System Options will open up, as well as the Document Properties. So I want the Document Properties tab, and here at the top of the list is the Drafting Standard. So I can choose any standard from the list here. Here in North America, we often work in ANSI or ISO, so I'm going to leave this drawing to ANSI. I can also load a custom standard from an external file. And some of the common things people like to do is turn on all uppercase for notes or tables or dimensions and whole callouts. The other thing we should be aware of, if I turn on one of these, it'll let me know I've modified the standard, which is perfectly acceptable. If I uncheck this, I'll have to go back and re-choose my standard if I don't want it modified. And then if we go down to the units, it'll show us what units we're in. The radio button is set to custom, even though I'm in an inch template. It's because SolidWorks recognizes this is a custom template that I've developed. So down here, I see what units I'm in. So for all length dimensions, I'm in inch, and it's going to work to two decimal places. If I turn on dual dimensioning, it'll be inch and millimeters, again, to two decimal places. All my angles will be to two decimal places. And if I scroll down, we can see the other common settings here. Any of this can be overridden. So if I would like all my lengths to be three decimal places by default, I can choose the drop down arrow and set it to three decimal places. If I go back to the drafting standard, once again, it'll show me it's been modified. So here in the units as well, I can choose how I would like things rounded off according to these four settings. And for now, I'm going to select OK. And we'll notice all my units here have changed to three decimal places. If I don't want any of these to be three decimal places, I can select one or hold control and select multiple dimensions. And then I can come over here to the tolerance precision and I'll change these two back to two decimal places and say okay.